I've always grown up on a farm. So I live on, you know, 80 acres in New Hampshire, or my family does. Land of milk and honey, granite state, live free or die, Hampshire for damn sure. Uh, <laughs> my whole life we've always raised our own cattle or goats, sheep, chickens, pigs. Always really valued, small, sustainable kind of industry stuff. My father happened to be an outward bound instructor when he was in his early 20s. So he always had a passion about getting us out as kids to go hiking, canoe trips, biking, whitewater rafting, rock climbing, and just really fueled our passion for the outdoor sports. Uh, and when I graduated high school, my brother and I, who's one of my best friends and adventure buddies, uh, we decided we wanted to finally go out west and, and see everything we'd always dreamed about and seen in videos and experience it. So we bought a 1973 Dodge Broham RV, loaded it with gear, and hit the road. Um, and we would mountain bike in Moab, and we spent time in Jackson, and we were down in Southern California surfing, and uh, we just were really kind of finally took the leap to what we really always wanted to do. So. I started Hidden Collective and what got me looking for brands was just things that I hadn't seen before. And then I realized like, man, why is no one creating a commonplace for the average consumer to find these small cottage brands, undiscovered brands, whatever you want to call them. I just really felt there was a real opportunity to have more choice and transparency. Um, I really believe in supporting and knowing where your dollar goes, and I didn't think the outdoor industry was doing a good job of, of fulfilling that. 